Nowadays, the vast majority of development, whether it's FOSS or proprietary, is managed with Git. But this wasn't always the case. Git only came out in 2005, and it's by no definition the first source code management or version control system, whichever term you prefer to use. Prior to this, there were tools like SVN, CVS, Bazaar, and a bunch of others with varying levels of popularity, but I might talk about those in a further video. When Git came along, seeing as though it was made by Linus Torvalds for use in the Linux kernel, it sort of got the opportunity to show off what it could do very, very quickly. And by being used in the Linux kernel, it rocketed to popularity. In 2008, GitHub came along, and since then, it's basically been the de facto standard that every developer needs to know. Now, it wasn't the case for every single one, but especially the much older ones, a lot of the version control systems were not decentralized version control like Git, for example. Instead, they were centralized. With Git, every single developer gets a full copy of the repo and can do anything they want to do. With a centralized repo, you had to check out code as if it was a library book. There is plenty of writings out there of what Linus said about centralized systems, but this was just simply not scalable for what the Linux kernel was. Now, Firefox. Firefox is one of those projects that existed before Git was a thing. Now, the official first release is November 9th, 2004. Considering Firefox came from Netscape, the actual starting date, you know, a little bit more hazy, but whatever the date is, it is before Git was a thing. And during those early days, it made use of a system called CVS, Concurrent Version System. And it kept using that up until 2007. There was a discussion about what things should we swap to in 2006. So after that discussion was done, then Firefox migrated from CVS over to Mercurial. And it wasn't until just a few days ago that Firefox development is moving from Mercurial to Git. For a long time, Firefox desktop development has supported both Mercurial and Git users. This dual SCM requirement places a significant burden on teams which are already stretched thin in parts. We have made the decision to move Firefox development to Git. So yes, you could not only commit with Mercurial, I'll get into what Mercurial is in just a bit. This was the main system they supported. You've probably never made use of it, so you probably want to read their instructions. But you could also commit to the very same repository using Git. This is what we call in the industry a stupid idea and should never have been done. Back in the early days when Mozilla actually cared about being a software company that had a really popular web browser, you could do things like this because you had a lot of money being spent on development. Nowadays, well, I don't know what Mozilla is doing. They have giant cash reserves, but are cutting development costs while giving the CEO massive bonuses. Stuff like this sort of has to go, and it's a much better idea to focus on a single solution. Now, for the few Mercurial fans out there, I am not saying Mercurial is bad. Mercurial is great. Git is great. Individually, as separate solutions, not merged together. Now, this would not be the first time that Mozilla has interacted with Git. You may know that a bunch of their Mercurial projects are mirrored over on GitHub. Along with this, they just do regular development on GitHub as well. This wasn't always the case. A lot of this other Mozilla infrastructure previously was over on Bazaar. The migration from that was done all the way back in 2014. Originally to their own Git server, which has since long been decommissioned with pretty much everything just happening on GitHub now. But this would be the first time that Firefox itself went from using Mercurial and Git to just using Git. And this right here is the Mercurial web interface. Now, unless you're one of the, I don't know, five Mercurial fans that still exist out there, you're probably thinking a very simple question. What in the world is Mercurial? Unlike tools like SVN and CVS, Mercurial was released at a really, really inconvenient time. It first came out 
on the 19th of April, 2005. For reference, Git came out on the 7th of April, 2005. It came out almost two weeks after Git did. And Git, from its very first day, had the Linux kernel project using it. So many developers simply don't even know that Mercurial exists. Like with Git, Mercurial is also a decentralized, distributed, once again, it doesn't matter which term you use, version control system. Licensed in a fairly similar way as well, Git makes use of GPL v2. Mercurial, GPL v2 or later. Now, depending on who you ask, one or the other is better. I would imagine the FSF is probably the Mercurial license is better, but if you ask someone like Linus, they might prefer GPL v2. Also, the very close release date wasn't just a coincidence. They both came from very similar circumstances. I don't think I've uploaded it yet, but I do have a video coming out about the origin of Git. So at the time, there was another system called BitKeeper. This did a lot of what Git did, but it had a proprietary license. It did have a free version, but due to a bunch of drama that was going on, that free version was being pulled. So Linus needed to make an alternative to that. He made Git, and Olivia McCall made Mercurial. But Mercurial seemed to have a bit more respect for Larry McVoy, who made BitKeeper. Saying about the name, shortly before the first release, I read an article about the ongoing BitKeeper debacle that described Larry McVoy as Mercurial in the sense of fickle, given the multiple meanings, the convenient abbreviation being HG, the atomic symbol, and the good fit with my pre-existing naming scheme. See my email address. It clicked instantly. Mercurial is thus named in Larry's honor. I do not know if the same is true of Git. And if Git never existed, I could easily imagine a world where all of us are Mercurial users. It's just, Git came out a little bit earlier. It had the momentum from the Linux kernel, and nowadays, I just don't see that changing. Funnily enough, because most people don't know Mercurial is a thing, or even where to look for a Mercurial repo, there are some people out there who thought that Firefox wasn't open source. Is Firefox really open sourced? I've been using Firefox for a while now, and I'm quite satisfied by it. I've always heard that it is open source, and I recently tried looking on GitHub to see if there was some sort of repo with the source in it. However, I wasn't able to find such a thing. Is the Firefox source code available to view? Now, people obviously replied, it's on Mercurial, it's not on GitHub. But, like, that's entirely understandable if you just don't know that anything outside of Git actually exists. Just finding it is one thing, but actually committing to the project, that's a whole nother endeavor. Not to say Mercurial is hard, but if you've only ever used Git, learning how to use it just to commit to this one project, you know, is kind of an endeavor. And yes, there is the Git method as well, but this is generally treated as sort of the, like, unofficial method. It's there, but like, you're probably not going to use it. Like, the main way to do it is with Mercurial. Regardless of which option you use, though, committing to Firefox is just kind of a nightmare. Like, there are a lot of steps you need to go through, regardless of which method you are actually using. It's kind of just a pain, and I have heard from a couple of people that they just didn't commit to the project because it was just a nightmare to work out how to do so. Going forward, this is not going to be an overnight process. This is going to take quite a while. As of the recording right now, the migration has not even begun. We will continue to use Bugzilla, Mozfab, Fabricator, and Lando. Although we'll be hosting a repository on GitHub, not their own private server because everything they're doing nowadays is on GitHub, our contribution workflow will remain unchanged and we will not be accepting pull requests at the time. So you'll still need to go through this method, through all of their stuff they're using here, they're not using the GitHub infrastructure, but that may change at some point in the future. We're still working through the planning stages, but we're expecting at least six months before the migration begins. So sometime around like May, June next year, things are actually going to start. 
How long the migration takes from there? Well, that's unclear, but I would imagine it probably wouldn't be entirely done maybe until the end of 2024. So, this migration is going to take place in two stages. In order to deliver gains into the hands of our engineers as early as possible, the work will be split into two components, developer facing first, followed by piecemeal migration of backend infrastructure. So, phase one, developer facing. We'll switch the primary repository from Mercurial to Git, at the same time, removing support for Mercurial on developers' workstations. At this point, you'll need to use Git locally and will continue to use Mozfab to submit patches for review. All changes will land on the Git repository, which will be unidirectionally synchronized into our existing Mercurial infrastructure. Phase 2. Infrastructure. Respective teams will work on migrating infrastructure that sits atop Mercurial to Git. This will happen in an incremental manner rather than all at once. By the end of this phase, we will have completely removed support of Mercurial from our infrastructure. One thing not outlined here is why they did this in the first place. Like, why were they doing Mercurial and Git? As I said earlier, one or the other is fine. Why both? But I guess better late than never to actually fix the system. So let me know. Have you made use of Mercurial? Maybe committing to Firefox or another Mozilla project? Or maybe it was the first thing you learned? I would love to know. So if you liked the video, go like the video. And if you really liked the video and you want to become a one over, these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon, Scrabs, the Libero Pay link in the description down below. That's going to be it for me and... Get or die.